Hey guys, it's Ropsy, back with Paperless Humans. Welcome to this episode that will cover everything you need to know about using widgets on the iPad. To add widgets to your iPad screen, long press any empty space. Go to the plus icon. And on this pop-up window, you will have all the apps that support widgets on your iPad. Not every app has widgets because some developers haven't created them for their apps. On the right side, starting from the top, you have suggestions. So the iPad will suggest widgets that it thinks will be the most useful for you. You also have Smart Stack, which is similar to suggestions, but instead of having individual widgets, you can choose to group multiple widgets, and the iPad will show you the most relevant information from the stack depending on the time of the day. After that, you then have a list of all the apps on your iPad that have widgets. Tapping on an app shows you the different types of widgets that app has. This can differ in size. Some apps have one widget in three different sizes. For example, Liquid Text has a scanner widget in two sizes. Other apps have different types of widgets. For example, Apple Notes has a widget for a folder. which comes in three sizes. It has another type of widget for a specific notebook or a specific note. And it also has a widget for quick notes. And that makes three different types of widgets for Apple Notes and each of them has different size options. You can search for apps to avoid scrolling through all these apps. Once you have chosen a widget, Tap Add Widget. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use widgets for the Reminders app because they're interactive. Each widget will have different options on what and how you display its information. For the list widget in Apple Reminders, you can tap it so that it flips to let you choose the list you want to display. Tap to flip it again once you're done with your options. And tap done or tap anywhere on the screen to save the changes. The interaction for the widget allows you to mark tasks as complete without going to the Reminders app. The completed tasks disappear from the widget as you complete them. Other apps with interactive widgets in iPadOS include Podcast and Apple Music that we have seen so far. To edit a widget, long press it 
go to edit widget to flip it for options. Not all widgets are editable though. This really depends on the type of widget the developer has created. Tap anywhere on the screen when you have finished making changes to your widget. When you long press a widget, you also have menu options to remove widget if you want to delete it. Stacking widgets can save you a lot of space on your home screen. Instead of having, say, five widgets, you can stack all five in one spot. To stack widgets, they have to be the same size because you can't stack widgets that are different sizes. Simply drag one widget over another to stack them. Keep doing this until you have stacked all your widgets. To see each widget, simply scroll up or down. You can edit the stack by long pressing it and going to Edit Stack. To add more widgets to the stack, go to the plus icon. All the widgets you will see when adding to a stack have the same size because remember, you can't stack widgets that are different sizes. Choose a widget and add widget. The plus icon stops responding once you have reached the maximum number of widgets that you can stack. Each stack has a maximum of 10 widgets. So once you reach 10 widgets on your stack, the plus icon option is no longer available to add more widgets. To remove a widget from the stack, tap the minus icon on it and remove it. You can turn on some options for smart rotation so that the widget at the top of the stack automatically changes depending on an unclear criteria. Turning on widget suggestions, add widgets that your iPad recommends for you. You can turn that off if you don't need it. And that is all about widgets. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you, fantastic human, for watching. See you in the next episode.